All right, well now it is time for Ask the Expert. Today we're talking about cardiovascular aging and factors that impact the age of your heart. Joining us live this afternoon is Dr. Arshad Jahangir, a cardiologist with Aurora St. Luke's Medical Center. So let's talk about this study that the CDC did. They found out that uh, our chronological age is different from our heart age. Men is actually eight years older, women five years older. What, what does this mean? Well, the uh, cardiac age or cardiovascular age is a tool based on risk factor profile oh, okay. that include age, sex, uh, presence of uh, high blood pressure, whether somebody is taking medicines for high blood pressure control, diabetes and body mass index, which indicates obesity. So based on these uh, risk factor profiling, CDC recently reported that uh, of the adults that are 30 to 75 years, 74 years of age, 69 million Americans in that age group are all their heart are older than their wow. actual age. Mm. And then the numbers you are quoting, like the 8% yeah. in men uh -huh. and 5% reflects the uh, overall risk profile in this population. Well, doctor, how prevalent, though, is heart-related deaths in the U.S.? Well, this is, despite all the advances, is still the number one cause of death uh, in our um, population. And about uh, 800,000 um, adults die annually with cardiovascular conditions. And so what is Aurora St. Luke doing about this and helping? So Aurora, not only following uh, the risk prevention type of um, uh, profiling and helping patients improve their risk of a cardiovascular event, we are, so patients who have established heart disease, they're a state of the art type of technology to help them deal with the heart problem. But we are going a step forward where new innovative research is being conducted to understand this relationship between high blood pressure and diabetes and how it is changing at the heart level. What is uh, the promoting this increased risk of heart attack or stroke? So we have established a center for integrative research on cardiovascular aging. This is one of the only few centers in the country mm -hmm. where the focus mm -hmm. is on cardiovascular aging. A and we use patients' uh, samples that they kindly give us permission to use during open heart surgery mm -hmm. to understand what is changing with diabetes or high blood pressure. So should people be concerned about that vital heart number and this CDC study? I think it is a very interesting tool and useful tool, which is easy to remember. All of us know our age. Yes. Yeah. And if we know we are older, <laughs> our heart is older, we need yeah. to do something to make that risk lower. So people should be, take this as a message how we can reduce that risk by improving the food we eat and by exercising. exercising. Mm. Yeah. That is the key factor, exercise by keeping the weight control and controlling blood pressure and glucose. I think there is, uh, there is a lot that can be done to reduce the risk. Dr. Jahangir, thank you very much for coming in here. Thank you so much. Well, if you've got a question for our experts, email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. The number is right there on your screen.